morning, good morning, good morning, y'all. We just gonna let the beat ride for a little bit. Sometimes you have to let things marinate. And after that, you hit them with a... Jim Stars! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BKA the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video. Now, check it out. I got my, I got my mic right in front of me. See, y'all know what time it is, man. Hopefully, you guys can hear me better. Hopefully, we're balanced out properly. And hopefully, we're doing a little bit better than, uh, than the game itself. You guys know what it is. 2K put out patch 1.05 on yesterday. And yesterday was a a very eventful day, to say the least. They said they put out a, uh, a bunch of things to uh, fix a lot of things. Various gameplay fixes. Uh, my boy Cap. Cap say that's Cap. What you think, Cap? That's Cap, Cap. Cap, I already know it's Cap, man. This is my co-host, Cap Calloway, the biggest capper in the world. When he types in all caps. But... You know, just like everybody else. Anyway, man, we already know they watch my videos, so I don't want to tell y'all about some of the stuff that's going on in the game because I know they're going to change it. But we're going to talk about the past. We're going to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. It's not going to be a long video. It's going to be a pretty short video, um, probably right at, right at 10 minutes for YouTube reasons. But let's get right into it. Look, check it out. We're going to start with the good. The good, we're going to say the good, the neutral, and then the bad things uh, about the patch and how it came out. So, uh, the good things. You can see your streaks now. I mean, when, when when you're streaking in the park, you can hit up. And uh, you can actually see it'll say you're on a whatever game streak. Previously, to my knowledge, now I don't know if you can already see this before, but previously to my knowledge, when you would hit up, you can see anything except for somebody that was that, if their court was on fire you couldn't see your own streak well we couldn't but you know maybe that was just me maybe that was just my thing so you can see that now that's cool another good thing you can see your rep bar percentage now you could always see that after the game but um you know right now it's like it's like now you can see it once you're out of the game like if you're in your my court and you just look at rep and all that so you can see that that's great. Awesome. Uh, and then that's about it for the good. The neutral movement speed appears to be a little quicker in some cases. Like my player has an 86 speed, almost 90 speed. So as I did the uh, example yesterday with the rubber band, right? If you are on this end of the spectrum, the, the top end, you shouldn't notice any speed difference. If you're on this end of the spectrum, you got pulled further away from you know, you got pulled further away from, from where the speed was defined. So if you're in this area or if you're in the bottom area, you're going to notice a big difference. But if you're somebody like me whose speed was 90, I'm not going to notice a big difference. As a matter of fact, because everybody below me is slower, the game itself may appear to be quicker. That said, the game speed itself appears to be just a little slower. And that's why a lot of people are missing shots and a lot of people are... um are not able to, uh, you know, are, are not able to do the things that they were able to do uh, yesterday because things are a little bit different. But, you know, with us, I haven't, I, I, I've been shooting just fine. A lot of people aren't able to shoot right now. I always say that my shot is fine. They did change shooting, but I just feel like I've adapted. I don't ever complain about a lot of this stuff. I went with a lot of people on the, on the shooting part a couple of weeks ago because I thought that there was really an issue with shooting because I had switched to center. And I was I had gotten so discouraged about shooting that I switched to center. And then I had come back and I came back and I said, you know what? Let me give this, a, let me give this one more try, man. And uh, you know, I went back to my guard and I realized that it was me playing with randoms and the randoms weren't finding me in good spots. You can't really carry games this year if you're playing with randoms and they're not finding you in good spots. And like I said, in the video where I showed you guys where, you know, you can't, every shot is different. So if you're dribbling the ball, the shot is different. If you're if you're catching the ball with your left hand, the shot is different. If you catch it with your right hand, your shot is different. The shot is different in every single case, the shot timing. And with that being, and, and because that's the case, you can play with randoms and you never get to catch and shoot. You never get to use your badges. And because you never get to use your badges, you 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 don't know how good shooting really is. So it seems like shooting is broken, but right now he's shooting off the dribble. Right now, with shooting, 
you got to hold it just a tad longer. That's it. I'm dropping jewels. You guys need to subscribe. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. If you, if you, if if these are jewels that I'm dropping, let me know. If you want to know what my badge combination is for shooting and how I consistently green with my, my three ball is an 80. You want to know that? Let me know down in the comments. But anyway, that's the neutral. The game seems a little bit quicker. Look at me. I can hold this dude right here. This 3 and D point, baby. We down here. Now, one thing that, that, that we're going to show uh yeah that paint defense is still broken this is the bad paint defense is still broken smothered layups are still going in mike said they can't really do anything about the smothered layups still going in he said if 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 they change it if they slide it's right now it's at a tipping point so if they slide it back in him then you're gonna be blowing wide open layups again and if they yeah okay i, I shouldn't have done that i thought i was gonna do baseline reverse off of two i was testing it out but they won't let me do it uh it's still kind of broken but trades up Splash down the strong green beam money team. See, look, that's what I, I got no problem with shooting. I just can't do my baseline reverse. That's all I want to do. But you know it is what it is. And look at that. That's real protector right there, baby. I got all the cheesy bad setups. So you can't, it, it, whatever, man. Anyway, shooting seems to be fine. Trades up. Green beam money team. Splash down. Shooting appears to be fine. If you can shoot, you can shoot. If you can't then you probably couldn't shoot in the first place. But if you're having problems and it just started on yesterday, you need to either look at your badge configuration or you need to hold it just a little bit longer. Because while your player seems to be faster, game speed is a little slower. So just take that for whatever it's worth. Um, Like I said, that's three in a row right now. I don't need no more proof. Also, people are loading in. I mean, I, no part, no, no event rewards. Some people didn't get their event rewards. Uh, I didn't play any events, so... It is what it is. Um, it, you just got to take that for what it's worth. Uh, we know that uh, we know that players are loading in on the on glitch players because when I came here, well, my t-shirt green right in his face. Uh, this is this is from last night too, and I I proved that to you. Um, when I came in, you know, you loading in on the wrong player, and a lot of players are like like I came in, I loaded in on my guard, and I loaded in on my center. Uh, when I would accept the invite or join somebody's park the way around that is you load in on the character that you want to load in on and once you load in on that character you you uh, you have to join the people that you want to join from your phone so if you don't join from your phone it's going to revert you back to another character I don't know what triggered that I don't know what caused it I don't know why that's the case but that's the only way some people just straight up deleted their other character um, and y'all see right there, man. Look, bro, we, we shot eight out of nine. The other team shot four out of five. So that would that would generally tell you that there's pretty much nothing wrong with shooting. I shot perfect. T shot perfect. The only the only shot we missed, we would have shot nine for nine. But I tried that dumb layup. But you know, hey, it is what it is. But anyway, like I was saying, if you're loading in on the wrong player, or or anything like that's happening to you, what you need to do is you load into the park on your correct player. Pull out your phone, and then you join the person from your phone. If you join the person from your phone, then you'll be just fine. But if you try to join from an invite or something, or from your actual party, the PlayStation party, it's going to it's going to give you your other player every time. That's something that I'm sure that they're working on. But uh, you know, it is what it is. Like I said, I feel like that yesterday might have might have done more harm than good. I can't I can't lie because it reverted some things. It did make some things better. Like I said, I'm cool with the game speed right now. I recognized how the game speed was adjusted. I went and played in my court and I shot like two or 300 jump shots. And then I went to the park. And so, you know, I didn't, listen, you, you got to practice in this game. This game is not as easy as 2K19 was. Speaking of which, where the lockdowns at? I ain't seen, I saw two or three lockdowns a game, every game in 2K19. But this game, I haven't seen one lockdown. Where are the people that, <laughs> I just like to play defense, that's why I play lockdown. I don't play lockdown because they're completely overpowered and they can shoot threes. And just because they're on the court, it throws your time and off and you can't shoot. I don't play it for that reason. I genuinely like to play defense. If they took shooting away, I would still play. Where are y'all? I haven't seen any of y'all. All I see is offensive threats. And people without def uh, defense in their bill, they want people to change stuff like, like they're like the shot contest system is broken. The shot contest system is fine. You have to have your badges. Intimidator, if you're not right there in somebody's face when they're taking the shot, you you gotta have Intimidator or they're gonna green the shot. 
that's that's more realistic than the system that we had last year where you can be 30 feet away from somebody and I pull up and then you just jump at me. Bombs are getting dropped off. That's what's happening. And bombs that didn't put defense in that bill, you can't get Intimidator. If you had put defense in your bill, you could get Intimidator and you would think shot contests are pretty much fine. Because we abuse it the same way that they abuse it. I shoot in people's faces. I shoot when people are close to me because I know that they can't, they can't impact it. You can't not put perimeter defense in your bill and expect to play perimeter defense. You elected to, to, to say, hey, well, I can just play defense. I don't need to put defense in. No! That's just like me saying, well, I can just shoot threes. I don't need to put three-point shooting in the beer. But you'll be mad at that. But you want to be able to just play D. It don't work like that, partner. Especially, like, if you're a center like these guys had two centers. I'm, if you if you got a center, I'm going to take you on the perimeter. I'm going to shoot because I know you didn't put a, a perimeter defense in your bill. And if you did, it, that's just like real life. A center can't hold a guard in real life. A center step on a guard in real life, what does he do? Heavy hesitation. The center of knees buckle. He's he dropping back. And then the, the guard pulls in his face. That's how basketball works. And if you don't believe me, go watch that night. What was 1996, uh, 97 Duke versus um, Duke versus uh, UConn with Richard Hamilton there. When Khalid Elamine spent the entire game pulling in Elton Brand's face. Heavy hesitation. Boom. Floater. Heavy hesitation. Two dribbles. Floater. Elton Brand can guard him. He was in space. They kept picking, rolling, and they wanted the center to guard Khalid Elamine. Khalid, you know what the L I mean. So don't 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 talk to me about that. Center should not be playing defense on the perimeter. That's just plain and simple. Last but not least, man, uh, I know a lot of people didn't listen to this video. 3v3 glitch. I mean, it's free repping there, and uh, nobody, nobody, uh, it ain't no win loss in there. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure they're going to fix that uh, private matchmaking. But anyway, the last thing that we wanted to talk to y'all about today was uh, the guys at 2K Lab did a video, and they did a video on down here pretty much what they were saying is, if you use down here, it's a massive waste of time, especially now that we have the speed difference. Uh, there's like, you know, from end to end, if you have if you have no downhill, you've got, um, you, you get from end to end in 4.7 seconds, 4.75. If you got downhill, you'll get there in three seconds. Now that's a 37% increase in your speed, but we know we don't play 2K like that anyway. What do we do? Center get the rebound, launch it. You don't need down here. They, they said it's pretty much a useless badge, and I'm definitely got, they, they actually said this, and I'm definitely not going to waste four spots on the useless badge. Anyway, that's all I got for y'all guys today. Y'all let me know if y'all noticed anything different down in the comments. If you need a new jump shot, I got a new jump shot um, for you guys. I mean, some people said my jump shot yesterday was bad. Some said it was cash. I, I said if you can't use it, it's probably user error, or what do we say? It's a picnic error. That's what we say in IT, problem in chair. Not in control, not in a uh, computer. So yeah, that was pro that's a pip pip error, I guess. Problem in pro a pick pip pick it, whatever pick nip. Problem in error, not in jump shot or not in PlayStation. Anyway, I'm gone, man. Y'all, let me know what y'all think. Uh, do you like the patch? I'm digging the patch. We didn't lose any games last night, other than like one, and that was on some BS. Cause 2K is still doing that, where they're just making you miss shots. Um, like every four or five games, somebody's just gonna be off. Just gotta adjust, baby. We we take that L, we keep on rolling. But uh, I'm gonna call it y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Hello. Overall, I think it was a good patch, but not being able to load in on your player and and having to go to YouTube to figure out how to fix fix that that was a bummer. But other than that, we good to go, and I'm out. Peace.